Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Checking in, zooming in on a topic uh, that was brought to my attention from a poignant comment by a viewer who is basically emerging out of a 12 year relationship with a covert narcissist. And that she wished she had uh, obtained this information earlier and is now kind of picking up all the pieces and is in feeling rather bewildered. Well, one thing I want to bring to light is that sometimes, you know, learning about this disorder, this type of person is really what is needed and was really an, an important lesson you needed to learn in your life. And this is actually something, a lesson that you can pass on to your children, other people that you know in your community, really understanding that there are certain types of people who will take advantage of who will basically uh, run you ragged, uh, suck you out of all of your emotional joy, your juice, your inspiration, in order to fuel their life. In, in other words, there's that B again. Ah! Making sure, okay, that's gone, okay, good. Um, you know, and really uh, realizing that um, there's people who use others essentially as a source of supply. And I always want to keep in mind here that, you know, we're talking about people here. We're not talking about, you know, um, supply, like that's your identity. You know, you need to realize that this was perhaps your role in a relationship. You know, you were perhaps married to this type of person. You're now seeing the forest for the trees. You're now able to really zoom in and understand the dynamics uh, that were at play. You're realizing that you weren't receiving all that you needed you realize that things were out of balance in the relationship. You realize that things weren't held accountable in the relationship and that now you're essentially left feeling like you're holding nothing, um, that you've invested all this time in a relationship with someone who couldn't reciprocate, who could not give back. So I do understand that sort of exhaustion and I want to advise you that there's good news that that exhaustion is really kind of the first breaking through moment where you're beginning to essentially awaken and identify that this is no longer serving you, it's no longer right for you, you're in a, a relationship with a capacity that is not going to be fulfilling you and your future. So identifying it, basically wiping your hands clean of it is, even though it's an emotionally draining thing, it's the beginning. So you're essentially in the valley but you've got a great road and a lot of great possibilities ahead for you. So that exhaustion, yes, is, is kind of coming through uh, the initial stages of grief. And it's just like, you know, why did this happen to me? And so you go through all those questions. And yes, you know, that is part of the learning process. But realize that that exhaustion is going to come, you know, is going to give way to better emotions, better experiences once you work through that. So it's, it's learning about what had went on and accepting it, uh, not living in denial, but realizing that actually this is, you know, the beginning, this is the embryonic stage for you to be able to move through. And initially that, that exhaustion is a feeling of grief. It's actually an experience of loss. So just like if you were to lose, you know, your best friend, um, you know, your, your favorite pet, um, you know, people even get attached to things like their cars. I mean, people get extremely, you know, depressed if their favorite team loses, you know. I mean, I, I know a lot of people who literally, you know, are so enamored with a sports team that they, you know, can't talk to anybody for the rest of the day if their team loses. Um, so, you know, realize that there are certain attachments that are operating in your life. And the sooner you're able to process and let go of this, and realizing that you know you're now on a journey of self-realization and opening up the possibilities that are available to you is going to become very energizing and very empowering and it's learning to take stock of this and realize all the opportunities and possibilities that lay forth for you are now what you are going to become reconnected to so it's a releasing of the old and a reconnecting to the new that is energizing that is meaningful uh, that is holding really your true interests where you're going to need to begin to reconnect and what I call, you know, cre create um, a new identification. 
So, and this is a very an exciting part of the journey. So realize that that depression, that sort of uh, exhaustion, be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself through that. Allow it to be, don't force yourself. It is a process. You're essentially a masterpiece in the making and give yourself the time and the permission to feel, and even though you're emerging slowly, give yourself the patience and give yourself the time to move through this difficult time because it is going to emerge to more energizing and positive experiences for you. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.